Hey Kinky Girls and welcome back. It's your girl Tunnel of Kinky Still the Core. And today's video I'm going to show you guys how I maintain and how I put my hair up at night for my wash and go. How do I preserve my wash and go? Okay, so I have tried different methods. Pineapple didn't work. Push it up, be smushed, all of this will not fall. And what I learned and what I found out, especially with 4C thick, tightly coiled hair, um, is that whatever direction that you put it in, it's going to stay in that direction. So if I sleep like this at night, this is going to be push up. It's not going to fall back as easily once it dries. Or once, you know, it sets or whatever. It's just, it's just not going to move as much. So yeah, so I'm going to show you right quick how I preserve my wash and goes and then I'm going to show you the results in the morning. So what I usually take is some Altus goodie bands. So I'm just going to simply take the take my hair and section it off. And like I stated, you want it to go in the direction that the hair you want the hair to fall. So you just take the goodie band and I just place it on one time. Okay, so I put it in the sections and I have three in front, three this middle part, and two on the back. So I have a total of six puffs, and I'm just going to simply put my body on. That's, and that's it. Okay, so it is the next morning. I have done my face, so it's now time to tackle my hair. So I'm just gonna remove my bonnet, and you can see how the curls are smashed, but they're still there. They, they still there, y'all. So I'm just gonna remove the hair pieces, and then we're gonna go on for the next step. Okay, so for the next day, what you will need is definitely some oil. So when I separate the hair, I'm gonna apply oil all over my hands. And then you might need, I might need some more water just to moisten some curls that is not defined and possibly some more gel. But if it's a good product, the water should make it reactivate and we can just move on from there. So we're gonna start with the oil. And I am just going to make sure my hands are thoroughly coated in between my fingers as well. And I'm going to start in the back and just pull it down. Okay, so this is what I have for separating, and I pretty much got the shape that I want, but I do want a little bit more volume, so I'm just going to take my pick, and we're not going to interrupt the curls, we're just going to lift 
at the root. So I want these all flat in the back. And I'm trying to get a heart shape all going on. And what I'm going to do is take some water because this section right here is a little bit frizzy, not much. But because I have looser curls right here, that's not really defined. Like my curls won't define and no, it's not heat damage. This is just the way my hair is. I rarely put heat in my hair. My hair been like this ever since I bit chopped four years ago. So that is not the issue, ladies. Just where it's frizzy at. Try to reactivate these curls. And up in in this water bottle is um, rose water and a little bit of leave and conditioner. Just a little bit, that's it. And like I said, I just like the mist. You can see the curls are trying to come back right here. Okay, kicky girls, that's it. That's how I maintain my wash and goes. Pineapples do not work for me. Um, my most four type women or girls who try to use pineapple, they said it doesn't work for them either. So I found this to be the best. Best, the best method to preserving my washing goes. And you can see the curls are still intact. And yeah, so um goody headbands, a bonnet, that's it. So if you girls have any questions or if you know any other ways to preserve your um, wash and goes, please let me know. Put them down below in the description box. I would love to find out because, hey, I'm always down to trying new things to see if it works for my hair. But as, as of lately, as thus far, this is the best method for me. Um, yeah, so if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to become part of the Kinky Girl team, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit it right now. Why not? It's free. And make sure you hit the little alert bell, notification bell, so you will be alerted anytime I upload a video. So that way, you won't miss anything. So when your girl uploads, come on and check me out. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Comment below if you have any questions, all of the products and things that I use. Go ahead and check out my wash and go video as well, which will be right here, my latest two videos. Go ahead and check those out, and I will see you girls in the next one. Bye.